Judge denies motion to lift stay on depositions in Lizzo's sexual harassment lawsuit. The singer Lizzo is accused of sexually and racially harassing her former employees. On Friday, the lawyers for three of the four employees lost a court battle when the judge turned down their request to lift the stay in the case. The purpose of the stay was to allow the lawyers to take depositions from everyone who had submitted declarations in a defense anti-SLAPP filing, including Lizzo herself. Judge Mark H. Epstein of Santa Monica Superior Court stated that the three plaintiffs need to make a far stronger showing than they have done to date to obtain that relief given the actual burden that they must carry to defeat the. On August 1, Lizzo, whose real name is Melissa Jefferson, was sued by former dancers Ariana Davis, Crystal Williams, and Noel Rodriguez. Lizzo's production company, Big GRRRL Big Touring Inc., her wardrobe manager, Amanda Namira, and her tour manager, Carlina Gugliotta, were also named in the lawsuit. The nine claimed causes of action by the plaintiff should all be dismissed, according to Lizzo's attorneys in an anti-SLAPP motion filed on October 27. This is because the claims arise from statements and other conduct in furtherance of the exercise of the constitutional right of free speech in connection with a public issue or an issue of public interest. The case was automatically put on hold after the filing. In their court filings, the plaintiffs responded to the anti-SLAPP motion on Monday, claiming that while discovery is normally put on hold when such a motion is filed, the defense declarations provide a false perception of the reality plaintiffs suffered. In their court filing, the plaintiffs' attorneys argued that there is a strong implication that the declarations were signed in an attempt to keep the boss happy, implicitly intimidate the plaintiffs and create a skewed narrative by merely repeating it 20 times compared to the reality that plaintiffs lived and suffered through. As a result, they sought to depose the defense declarants, who maintained that the plaintiffs were not the victims of harassment or discrimination. Moreover, while plaintiffs contend that the discovery they seek is very limited, in the same sentence they say that they need to take 21 depositions, said the judge. That is not very limited. The goal of the state's anti-SLAPP law is to stop people from intimidating individuals who are exercising their First Amendment rights with threats of legal action. Lizzo's legal team included sworn statements from 18 members of her Turing party in their anti-SLAPP motion. These statements refuted several of the lawsuit's specific accusations, such as the claim that Lizzo had fat-shamed some of her dancers.